okay hello guys uh, and today I'm just here to show you how to 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 use this simple method of uh, of locking your files or locking your folders or protecting your files or your folders or your softwares with a password on a, on a on a Windows PC so taking an example people who have who work in an office setting and uh, you have some confidential files on your computer or maybe you're sharing your computer with somebody else and you wouldn't like anyone to get access unauthorized access to those files or to anything or to open in software without your permission uh, i would recommend you be better uh, you pay attention to this video because uh, i'm about to show you it's very simple method a very simple trick that you can use to lock all your files all your folders and uh, no one will access them unless he, he or she has a password so all you have to do is to encrypt all your files encrypt all your folders with a password using this method and uh, you will be good to go okay so number one this is how it's going to be working uh, it's a simple software i will show you everything i'll show you how to download it i'll show you how to use it but first uh, let me first take you through how to it really works faster uh for now i already have some things uh included here but uh, i think so how it works is if it locks a folder for example this is a new folder on a d on our d uh, partition if it's locked by this software and uh, if anyone tries to, to open the folder obviously it'll ask for the password so let me try to access the folder and i see whether it really works mm. it's actually not even anywhere to be seen because remember in the software the folder was labeled not visible but uh, for example you can make it visible but not accessible so I these check boxes the one you check is is is, is a sort of a, a permission that you give to to the to the to the user or to the intruder who is coming in if you want him to access the folder then you check access if you want him to not to access then you have to uncheck it but if if you want him to vi vi to view the folder or the folder to be visible to anyone then you have to check it but if you don't want to be visible or you want it even to disappear all your files to disappear no one can see them unless you 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 put the password then you uncheck the visible but now that i want it to be visible but uh i don't want it to have an access anyone shouldn't access and uh, not even being writable writable means a person being able to uh create something inside that folder or pasting anything uh even deletable not anyone will be able to delete anything outside of outside uh, inside that folder so once you click ok you see that the folder is now visible but when you double click it uh, for it to open to say you do not you don't currently have permission to access this folder click continue to perm to permanently get access to this folder. but even if you click continue you won't get access mm -hmm. access denied permission denied mm -hmm. okay so you need a password to enter that uh, some people use right click open but even if you do that it wouldn't it wouldn't open it it needs a password so you can also encrypt another file let's encrypt some other file and we see for example now that was a folder let's encrypt a, a document and we see mm, where 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 i think we have some documents in our yeah some word documents here we can encrypt one So you have to add a file, not a folder. So you come to your documents. So we want to encrypt a certain file. Let me say this Office Word file. Once you click on it and you say open, uh, you give permissions. You don't want anyone to de to edit it. You don't want anyone to delete it. You don't want to access it. But somebody can view uh, can view it. So they the file will be visible so it's okay and once you come back here this is the file try to open it 
the file is visible but word cannot open this document user do not have access or access i mean access privileges open the file unless you've um, put the password so as simple as that if you want to make it disappear you can still come to the file modify and then say uh you also say not visible so you unclick the visible check and that's why you're not seeing any file here so it's it has disappeared completely okay so let's go ahead and uh, start off and I'll show you how we can uh, very fast do this okay so but first I will have to first prepare my desktop so as you can start off okay let's start okay guys now we are good to go so will it Okay, so now let's go ahead and start off. So open your browser and uh, search for file, file, or you just start with easy, easy, it's easy file locker. Yeah, this is it, easy file locker. So Google for that. So within the first search we have file easy locker 64 bit and uh, you can go for with uh, with this link I think it worked I've already tested it and uh, once it loads the page th so this is the app that we are going to be using easy file locker so you can scroll down and uh, try to download hit on the download button and your download will start automatically once your download starts uh you have already downloaded the uh, downloaded the file so i don't need to double download it uh, to re-download it so i'll just go back and access it in my in my download so after downloading come to download your download this folder check where 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 exactly make sure you can access where it is So this is the file easy file locker so once you locate it uh, you can try to open it this open the setup click on yes wizard wants to okay now install the wizard uh, agree with the terms and uh, you can change the, di the directory where you want to install but for now I, re I recommend you just continue and finally install the software so once the software is installed perfectly run is if you check that make sure it's checked because you want it to run right away after the installation finish and it will ask for the password please input the password so let me say you have uh, a password created or if you don't have the password already created you can input a new password so once you input a new password it will open mine it has already had some you know passwords already installed but so once the software is open so now we shall uh, go ahead and i think start off uh, it should be empty so let me try to empty it and we start off so this is how it will look like in the first place nothing is in uh, in the in the files and folders so you can try to add a file or a folder that you want to lock let me start with a file once you click on file mm, uh, this will be blank so meaning that you will have to come here and add a path or a directory where the file is for example this is the file that we have tried to lock the other time so you choose the file and open so once the file is in you check what you want if you want the file to be visible or accessible or writable deletable 
you do exactly what you want if you don't if you don't want the file to be deletable you uncheck the deletable if you don't want it to be writable or changed or any changes made to the file you uncheck it if you want it to be to have changes anyone to make changes to the file you check it if you want uh, uh, to remove all the access from anyone you uncheck the access the, acc the access box and uh, if you want it to be visible you check it you you make sure the check the visible bo the visible visibility box is checked but if you don't want it to be visible you uncheck it ah okay so finally you say okay so this is what you have that's why you see on accessible there is a cross on writable there is a cross meaning no one will be able to change it on deletable there's a cross no one will be able to delete and on visible there's a cross no one will be deleting it will be viewing this file but if you want to change that you highlight the file and uh come here around here modify so you click on modify you can modify this by rechecking them so it's quite simple you don't have to, it doesn't need a lot of technicalities so that's it so once you've uh, for now let me just make it visible but not accessible not writable not deletable so that's why visible there is a tick meaning that the file will be visible but it won't be accessible it won't be writable and it won't be deletable so once we're done you can try to minimize this go back to your to your, to your folder where the file is this is our file once you try to double click to open to tell you that word cannot open this document user does not have access access privileges so it's okay and go back uh, if you want to access it then you have to come back here uh, try to modify now I'm imagining that it's you working on the computer again and you want to access your file so you come back into your software give it access give it all privileges such that you'll be able to, to access it minimize come back open your document and uh, of course the document already had a password protect so don't mind about this anyway I don't mind about that uh, let us just imagine the document was a new one and it, does, it didn't have any password uh, let me say let me say let me say what document yeah new word document just that and then we come back here this one has a password even if you just remove it and we add a new one as I told you adding a file just come here where we have add file and uh, on these three dots it's why you choose the directory where the file is look for the file we said this time you're going to use this new file that we've just created the other one had a password so we just wanted to get rid of that we want something very straightforward so as I told you you give it uh, clearance levels from here you want somebody to access it you, you click accessible if you don't want anyone to access it you uncheck it and go ahead so like in the first tutorial if you try to click on this it will say uh word cannot open this document because it doesn't have access what privileges but when you go back to this and you give it uh modify by the way if you want to modify the the access access privileges uh you have to go to modify but you first highlight it you first highlight the the document modify then you give it access also writable and deletable okay so now you can go back on and uh, open your document work on your document uh, do everything you want and save again and now that you've saved after saving the document and you're leaving your computer maybe you can put every document you want every confidential document in one folder and then you lock the folder not locking keep on not, not like keeping on locking on individual files but you just put them in one folder and then lock the folder at once i will be showing you how to lock the folder uh later on so when you come back here uh so that was a file but if you want to say let me I, I just want every file of mine in one folder let me say you have yoka folder in your documents and you have all these files inside here all your files inside there 
all your confidential files packed in one folder and so you, you don't have to lock individual files you can just put every confidential file you want to lock in one folder and then you lock the folder at once locking the folder you just come here where there is an icon for the folder and when you hover over you see the word add folder so you just click on it and uh, as i told you in the first place just come here where you have three dots it's where you are the direct where you access the directory where your files are uh, for example our do our new folder that we want to lock is in documents so access your documents and i believe this is our new folder uh click on highlight it and click ok so it's already in so here we have it so now what you have to do go ahead and give it access privileges uh i would want somebody to view it but not to access it so you uncheck the rest and you leave view checked uh come back back to our folder this is it try to open tell you it tells you that access is denied and once you're back to your computer for example if an intruder comes in and wants to access this folder tries to open the computer will tell him that access is denied but once you're back and you are the owner and you want to access your folder you come back to the software uh, highlight the folder try to modify and this time give it full access access privileges deletable writable accessible and visible and once it's okay and you go back to your folder try to open it the folder will open automatically so and after editing everything in your folder you want you can lock it back and then you go ahead as i told you modifying you highlight come back here modify and then either you give privilege or you remove privilege so i think that's it guys for today as simple as that I will provide the link for the download in the description so you don't have to hustle around copying all the, the, the download link. I will provide the link in the description so you will just have to, 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 to click on it and you go ahead and download. And uh, that's it, as simple as that. Or even if you feel like you're tired of uh, this thing of. Uh, modifying modifying you know just open the software and come over here and just say stop protection it will stop protection of every folder that you had locked previously so you can access it and after doing all your work open the software again and say start protection so it puts back the protection on every folder that had been protected so that's it guys as simple as that you don't need to ask around I'll provide just like I promised. I'll provide all the disc of the links, the download links in the description. Ensure to check and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more uh, tricks, Windows tricks. So that's all.